Hey, welcome to this episode of What's Brian Up To? Well, today I'm over at my parents. I'm gonna help my dad work on his 95 Honda Goldwing trike. His LCD screen has quit working, which is a very common problem with these gold wings. And so we're gonna take it apart, replace the LCD screen, put in some new light bulbs, put it back together. So join us. Okay, so this is the fourth generation of the Honda Goldwing. It's the 1500 model from 88 to year 2000. And this is the LCD screen that has the common problem. This is what we're gonna take apart. So the first thing we're gonna work on is taking off the seat. I'm gonna take the seat back off here. And then the rest of the seat is held on by these four bolts, two on each side. And once the seat's off, we're gonna go ahead and take off these acorn nuts. There we go. All right, just like that, we pull those off. We'll just go ahead and pop up this cover here. Has a couple little rubber grommets there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take out both side boxes. There's four Phillips head screws. And we take out this other side. Four screws again. Okay, now we have taken out the pockets here. The next we're gonna work on removing the mirrors. It's this rubber that we're able to pull off and there should be screws underneath there. So when removing the mirrors, I recommend keeping the bottom screws in and then pushing the mirror forward so you can reach this top one and then taking the bottom screws out. So now we've got both mirrors off. It does help two hands being able to hold up on that rubber housing. When you do have this off, it's a good time to go ahead and clean up all this grime and dust. So next step is gonna be taking off these windshield levers. And then again, repeat for the left side. All right, next step is to take this trim piece off for the windshield. Each side has a Phillips head screw. Once you have that pulled out, then you tilt it forward, slide it to the right, and it pops right off. Once you have that off, the next step is to take the windshield off. And the windshield has five of these screws with these metal grommets to allow the windshield to move up and down. So when we use a large screwdriver, I think it's a number three tip to take these off to be careful. And notice how the grommet is not attached to the windshield that comes off. Be careful with that. Okay. Okay. Next step after the windshield is off, we're gonna go ahead and take off the turn signals as there is air vents behind there that are attached to the, to the vents right here. And it makes it easier to pop the dash out once those are out.
So that's the little clip. All right, once you have both of those, next step is taking the headlight adjustment knob off. There's a Phillips screwdriver right there. Flashlight is shining is one of the upper tabs. There's one underneath that foam there, and then there's two below. You can get, you can feel the tabs okay, right here. If I push up, you should be able to pop that out. You can see that tab right there and there. There. There we go. Yep. You got it? I do. Yep. That side, that it side. is out. That side's loose. All right. On to the other side. All right. Again on this side, I can feel the tabs over here. Can you feel the bottom ones? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, next step is to take out this instrument cluster. There's four screws. One, two, and the same two on the other side. All right, now I should be able to pull this out and then going to be held in still by the speedometer cable likely and some wires some wires speedometer cables right there there we go push this down and it slides up this one must be similar. I think it is. Yep, it is. Same. Push the tab down and. Next step is to remove these screws here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws to take this plastic housing off in the, in the dark charcoal colored bezel. Next, we're going to remove these four screws here to hold in this screen. We're taking the tachometer out to get us some additional clearance to get that screen out of there. I should just flip forward. Okay, like that. So I'm going to remove these four screws in order to get this board off of here. We want to make sure we put everything in the exact same order and we're going to be careful to place everything exactly how it's sitting.
now we have that apart. We just need to set these aside. There's this plastic cover here that slides out. Should get out of there. And we just set that aside exactly how it came out. There's these rubber inserts that transmit the signal. They should come off just like that. Set that to the side. Just like that. The, the blue backer. And then this is the faulty LCD screen. You can see how it's messed up. All right, so here is the new LCD. And there's a protective film. On each of the LCD screens, there's this, there's this little notch right at the top. And there's a little notch right in the housing here. And also you can see that there's a step between this side and this side. This, the, this side is a little bit wider. This side's narrower. And you can see it. And you'll want, that's, that's where those little rubber inserts and you'll want the longer, wider piece to go down into the housing, making sure to make sure that notch is there. And then we just got to take off some protective film. So now it just goes back in that same order. There we go. Okay, and now. Let's put in the rubber right. guides off to those sides. They fit down in those little grooves. fits down in between everything. Okay, everything should be flush. Okay. okay. Let me go ahead and help hold this here. There we go. Okay, all back together, checking the lights before we put it all finally back together. The LED screen is working. Able to change the, ch change the station. When we check the air pressure, we don't have, we have the air unhooked at the moment, but that changes like it should. Spinometer is hooked back up. Putting the screws in for the instrument cluster.
We'll need to find that screw. Hmm. Hey, we found our other screw that we dropped. You know how we did it? <laughs> By taking the side of the bike apart after watching some videos on how to do that. Oh, Here we go. But we found our screw, so. back on. I think that's it. Did you get that vent popped in? It's all popped in there. Looking good. While we had this all apart, the bright lights were not working, and so we discovered that the bulbs were burned out, and so we have picked up some new bulbs, and now we're taking the headlight assembly out. There's two bolts here, one here, one here, and then there's two screws to pull this chrome piece off, and another two bolts right underneath here, 10 millimeter, all four of them, and then this comes out, there's one plug behind there, and then we can insert the bulbs in, Go ahead and place the bulbs in here. Be careful not to touch the bulbs. And then the spring comes down and clips in right underneath there, like so. I wanna go ahead and put this rubber boot back over the bulbs there. Put that boot down there. and plug that plug in there. So we're gonna put this back together. We've got a reed plug in our plug here. And push the headlight back into place. You gotta make sure these washers are on. Right here, that comes out. Make sure those little washer spacers are in there. One on each side on the bottom. These bottom screws they got dual purpose. So one is the bolt that holds in the headlight, and then there's a screw that goes in it that holds on this chrome piece. And then the upper piece, this is the part that holds the chrome trim on. I say, pop the key in there and let's give her a test. Okay, we are ready to install the windshield. So when we started putting this back together and tightening down these bolts, the grommets were, I don't know if it's aftermarket or if this windshield is thicker or something, but when they were tightened down, there was no movement. So what we ended up doing is putting a split washer behind each one of these bolts in order to increase the shoulder size inside. And so now, now, we can actually move the windshield up and down in both this location and this location. Windshield's on, start to put the turn signals back in, clipping them into the clips. We'll go ahead and put back on this piece here. After we've cleaned it up, installing the windshield adjusters. Putting the mirrors on now. We've put the, the beauty ring on here. Now we're gonna slip the mirror onto there. Then we tilt the mirror forward, and then you go through the rubber there. Put all the rubber back in place. Just 
So now it's time to put on the center console. So we've taken the acorn nuts off that we had screwed onto there and we slowly but surely finagle this in, getting past these cables and wires. There we go. Get clips on there like that. Well, if you stayed with us this long, you know that we've gone through quite a few things on this gold wing. So we have finished it up and it's all put back together. So here's a quick view. Turn that key on. Everything lights up. All new light bulbs in here. New LCD screen. Looking great. New headlights. Really enjoyed this project. All right, thanks for sticking with us. We'll see you next time.